What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, uh, you might really even not notice it if you didn't check and see that you had a new download, but we actually got all the power systems already live on here. So, number one, you can see here, we literally have a boss invasion, man, I wish I would've got a screenshot of that. Um, so where do you actually see the bosses then? We just go to battle? No, it's not battle, so we've beaten all those. Ah, okay, so you gotta go through them one by one now, and now we have all of these here. Um, that's a good chunk of change right there, 183,000? I was gonna say, I'm sure we have people already beating these up, which is interesting. Um, when all the stages of the normal chapter are cleared, we can do this. There are three chances to challenge the boss per day, which will be refreshed. And cannot be accumulated so i imagine you can do like three difficulties per day and there's 10 per chapter only e5 or above transcends heroes can be deployed we said that the boss's hp of the previous battle will be reserved so you can like work your way towards killing it uh the boss of the next difficulty won't be unlocked after the previous one is defeated the void invasion of the next chapter will be unlocked after the boss in the highest difficulty of the previous chapter is defeated challenge points will or are affected by the boss's difficulty the damage dealt uh the rankings are based on the highest points obtained blah 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 okay we're gonna try that a little bit later today i wonder does hollow have it as well no it doesn't so it's just the regular game mode we're gonna start working through those then and see how they are now the big thing i want to take a look at first is the new power system you'll notice we have this down here now skins have moved up to the center of the window here uh, so they've been moved just slightly to make room for a different tab down here now. And this is it right here. Interesting. So we got this little icon right here. I love taking screenshots of everything. So Origin, Surge, Chaos Core, Polystar, and Nirvana. Transition skill. Oh my god. Is, is there going to be different ones for every hero? Let me see. At the end of the round, consume three layers of divine power to increase the damage reduction and attack of the front row heroes. The back row heroes. Okay, let, let's just see. It's different for other heroes. I need to find another one that has the stuff on it right now. There we go. It is different. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's different for every hero. We're gonna have to learn every hero's transition skill. Um. So transition temple here. Transition hero capacity of different levels. Oh my god, so you gotta get the temple up to level 10 to have a single six star, it looks like. And then the power cap too. Hero with the divine power will dominate the battle. Oh my god, there's so much to learn. We get these cool new wings now. I'm taking a screenshot of that because that looks really, really cool. Um, divine power is to summon the transition temple level and the divine power in destiny. There's a lot to go over here today, so we're going to have to break this up into a bunch of different stuff here. Um, yeah, it looks like we need three origin to level it up. Now let's just take a look then. Uh, so let's go to the Destiny Transition. We have a decent amount of resources, but we don't have any of those right now. Ooh, what's this? You can convert those into the... Okay, so you can convert it into like the lower tier or something. Uh, and yeah, activating does require five of these Divine Power Aurora Gems, a gem of, that contains a high concentration of Divine Power, can be used to upgrade the hero's destiny, and it takes Crystals of Transcendence, so glad I haven't spent that five million I got sitting there, because that's going to be <laughs> very important. So, the first, my god, everything's like, look, the name of it's behind, this says Destiny Transition back here. Ah, these things just look so cool, though. So we're gonna have to find a way to get those resources then, and I'm wondering if you can start accumulating them then from the bosses here. I wish we could take a look and see what the other stuff have, uh, but right now we only have the Aurora Gem Shards. And if I remember what we just saw correctly here, this one that we need to activate is the special one, and this, Oh, no, okay, so you can take the ones that we get from the campaign, and you can turn them into this one. Okay, and in order to do that, we need five of them. So, you need 25,000 of these? Okay, 
25,000 of those to get the upgrade going, it looks like. And it's going to cost... Okay, so it's 5,500 per for the first stage. I'm sure it keeps going up. Three per day. So, yeah, it's going to take it's gonna take a couple days before we can do the first thing on powering up our hero. This is going to be interesting. Um, wait, why... Uh, equip Nova Core, unlock all sublimation effects. We do have Nova Core and upgrade to max level. Oh, so it does have to be level 120 in here. That's interesting. Oh, we're going to have to rechange so much up on our account now. We're going to have to even focus. Honestly, I think what this change does, honestly, is it means focusing on like all these extra plots on Cloud Island is almost useless. Like focusing on two to three right now for my account is optimal. The other like two that we're working on completely useless to us because we need to power up the main heroes even further to level 120 if we haven't already. And we have to go for Noble Core. So the one sad thing is we can't upgrade our newest fun hero, which I don't know if she got a change or anything either. I'll have to take a look at that. Sounds the same, so I don't think anything changed just yet, unless they did a fix just for Osis and Star Expedition. We honestly have no clue when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, we're we're having a more hyper focus on specific heroes. So I think having like two householders probably gonna be the way to go here in the future. I mean, um can I actually do his? So there are different skills for every single hero. Can you actually look at that here? Yes, you can. Thank goodness. You can see all the power-ups. So we're going to have to go over and look at every single hero's abilities to see which ones are the really, really juicy good ones here. After releasing active skill, if you have 12 or more layers of that, you'll consume 12 layers and deal 2,000 damage to the enemy. Heroes in the same row as yourself and have 50% chance to fear. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is this, this right here, the upgrade to Lord of Fear Aspen just makes Star Expedition trivial as well. <laughs> Even if Natalia change comes, a Lord of Fear Aspen is just gonna crush it. Uh I wonder what the comparison is here now. Uh and yeah, see, she turns into a healer. Uh I think it basically this change anyway makes it so that Lord of Fear Aspen is really the only option. Like, because this one's just like a heal. It's not damaging. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to have to go through all of these. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.